Hello everyone, in this video let us see how to test this API with the help of a web debugger tool that is Fiddler. So you can simply go to this URL telric.com slash download slash Fiddler and you can download Fiddler for .NET 4 and you can install it. Once you install you should see Fiddler on your start menu. So I'll start Fiddler and I'll just go for file new viewer so I'm with a new viewer and here you will see two areas one on left another on right on the right area you have composer so in composer you'll find some sub menus that is paused raw scratch pad and options so in paused I have one drop down list which says I need to select a method so whether it is get, post, put or delete and definitely you will find lot many methods here but we are very much interested about get, post, put and delete. So for get and I can pass URL over here API URL. Now if I want to test my API it should be up and running. So it is up and running. Now I will minimize this. I need not to stop this. It should be in running mode. Now I'll paste that URL over here and execute this and should find a log on the left. You see that I get a log for API slash departments. I'll double click this and you see the result over here that it is returning all the records in JSON format. So this is the default return type is JSON. So I'll go for text view. Now I want to look for this particular department. So I can again go back to the composer and say slash. So my request is get. This is the URL and this is the version and this is your header and this is the body. So this is my complete request. Now I'll say execute. And here you see the result. I get the particular record. So this is fine. There is nothing great in this. We have been doing these two things even in our browser. But with the help of Fiddler, I can change the method type instead of get if I change it to delete. You see that my base URL or you can say base URI, it is the same. Just I am changing the method. Change in the method should perform different operation. Now it should make a call to this delete method. I'll put a breakpoint here. Now I'll say execute. So it has reached this point with the ID, say 5. So it has successfully deleted the department. Now if I go back to composer and look for all the department, then you should not find 3053. So there is no 3053 record. So we have performed delete operation successfully. Now I want to perform an insert operation that is nothing but post. So I'll select the method type as post and record I need to pass it in the body. So my record is of type JSON and it should have department ID is anyway auto generated. So I need not to pass it department name. So let us uh, take a record from here and edit that. Department ID I need not to pass because it is auto generated. Department name I will change it to sales HOD Roy and gender as male. Now it should hit this post method. So I'll execute this. I need to add there is an error. Error is nothing but it does not have any media type if you see unsupported media type header. So while composing this request I need to say content type is JSON. So this is important. Now let me execute this. So we have reached this point and you can see now say 5. So it should have inserted this record. Now if I go for get I should see this is in red because in get it is it does not require any body. 
and I'll say execute go for text view you should see another record 3055 sales Roy and mail as gender now the last operation that is update I want to update this record so let me copy this and paste it here change the type to put if you observe in your put method First it has ID, then it has the object department. So it will take ID from here and the complete object from here. I want to change name of the HOD from Roy to Carl. Now rest of the thing content type is again important here because I'm going to pass JSON data type. I'll execute this. It has reached put method with ID and the complete updated object. Now I'll say 5 so it has updated there is nothing to get back right no content in response header now let us see whether that record got updated or not I'll just go for the get method I'll remove this I'll say execute see that it has got updated so that's it this is very simple this is how you can use fiddler to test all the methods get post put and delete so that's it for this video. Thank you very much.